Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to load a program file to a Crestron 2 series processor using a straight through serial cable and Crestron toolbox. In the first video, we showed you how to connect your serial cable to your laptop. In this video, we're going to show you how to use toolbox to load this file to a system. So the first thing you want to go do is click start all programs and find your Crestron folder. Once you find that, look for toolbox and start the program. Checking the boot up there, and then you're going to see the Crestron Toolbox application. Now, for the purposes of loading this file, uh, the only tool that we're concerned with is this one right here, the big eye. It's called the System Info button. All right, we're going to hit that to start the System Info tool. All right, in the sim System Info tool, you see uh, a couple of things. We're going to have a refresh button here, uh, the device status bar graph. Down here you have a, an address book that you can use to um, create addresses. You can learn more about that in the uh, Crestron tutorials. But for this one, we're going to want to click on the pencil right here. It's enter in an address. Right. So we're going to click the pencil button. And we're going to get the edit address uh, pop up. Um, we have a couple of different connection types. But the one we need is RS-232 because we're using an RS-232 cable. Um, if uh, on your computer, you need to determine which COM port you're using. On my computer, I'm using a USB to serial adapter, uh, and it is set up as COM5. So I'm going to select, select COM5. Uh, my baud rate, you can leave as auto detect. Um, your parity will be none. Your data bits will be 8. Your stop bits will be 1. Your X on, X off does not need to be checked, and your RTS, CTS needs to be checked. Once you hit that, you hit OK, and you should see the system, all the system information. These are all the different uh, features for um, the system info tool, right? The one that we're going to be concerned with, right? We'll close them all out so you can see them all. Bunch of different tools that you can open and close with those little plus signs right there. Close them all for me. Okay, so the one we're looking for is program. We're going to expand it. All right, uh, it will bring you up the uh, program information. Um, this is a place a lot of times where if you go out um, uh, as a service tech or something like that, the program is going to want you to copy this information right here inside of here. So you, know, you could select and highlight all that and copy that uh, to bring out to fix the code. But for this intensive we're going to click right here on the looks like a play button, which will bring the simple programming window up. All right, uh, on the left side here, it's going to tell you your program information of what's currently in the system, and right here, it's going to tell you what you need, what file you're going to load. So you can browse uh, to wherever the file is that you need to load and select it. It's going to be a .spz file. Right, uh, select that, hit open. Um, once you've done that, you, you hit the send button. Um, it's going to ask you do you want to um, override the IP table. You may get this warning, you may not. It just depends on if you're loading a new program or an existing one. Um, you're always going to want to hit yes. You're always going to want, want overwrite the default, default table. So hit yes. Um, and then if hit yes, uh, and then there you go. The program starts to send. You can watch it transfer. If you look in here, you see it shows that the old program file is Children's Memorial Type B Rev 1, and I'm loading Children's Memorial Type A Rev 1. So when we're complete, this should show the updated programming information. Let the system reboot.
There we go, it's finished. Hit close. And now we see that the new program file is children's memorial type A rev onesmw So we have uh, correctly loaded the file. We've verified that we loaded the file. Um, you could also scroll down here and see that we it was compiled on 3:19, 12, 12, and 11 a.m. Um, and once you've done this, then you are done. Congratulations.